My name is Marty Sear. I'm the shop manager here at Titan Motorsports. Eight or nine years ago, uh, Nero came in the shop that I was working at and told me he had some, some Toyota Supras that he was building and wanted to do some big audio systems and video systems and stuff like that in them. And we designed a couple audio systems and started doing them pretty much on a regular basis. When he decided to open this new facility, he realized that he needed a shop manager and you know, it kind of was just the right timing for me to you know, make a move and come, come to Nero. And I, obviously I was very excited to, to get the offer and you know, start something new and something different. And you know, still along the lines of what I was already doing, but uh, you know, kind of adding, add, adding even more to that. I get to the shop early in the morning, get my computer going and check my emails, get started, check on the guys, make sure they have everything that they need kind of get a feel for what's what's going on for the day, kind of direct them in, in, in the direction that needs to be taken, um, what vehicles we're going to be working on, what vehicles we have all the parts for, what vehicles we're waiting on parts for. Every Monday morning, first thing we do is we get together, we have a shop meeting, kind of organize the week, we look at the shop schedule, whatever's uh, day jobs are scheduled to come in and out, or we're waiting for a client to get his car in, or uh, you know a race or an event is coming up that we need to be prepared for. So, you know, we like to talk about things that are happening even months down the road, uh, at least a little bit each, each week to make sure that we know when we're gonna start something and make sure we have the correct amount of time to finish the project, test it, and have it ready to go to whatever that event may be. As I was uh, getting interested in cars, you know, a lot of guys race different things. Um, I found my, my niche in motocross, so I got pretty involved in motocross and that lasted from 16 years old till into my early 30s, uh, you know, where it was a pretty much, uh, you know, besides work, the main thing that I did uh, it was something, you know, to focus on, something to uh, to drive me to be stronger and work harder. And you know, obviously, you know, it's an expensive sport, so I worked harder at work to make more money so I could afford to race. And the typical scenario in motocross is, you know, a couple pretty serious injuries every year, maybe at least one. And at 32 years old those injuries were a lot more debilitating than when I was 16. Really kind of walked away from motocross almost all in one time. So to get ready for our open house, Wes and I are on the board of directors. There's a couple of us that basically kind of manage the whole event. And you know, we set up for the parking, we set up for uh, all the vendors, get all the vendors dialed in, uh, meet with all the uh, Orlando Party Rental and all the companies that bring the stage and the tents and the tables and uh, get our, our Titan Motorsports stuff set up where we sell t-shirts and drinks and things like that. So we set our tents up, um, get all of our cars placed, get the shop set up where people can kind of do a little tour and see how the shop works and see some of the cars that we're working on. It's always pretty interesting to people. When I first got here, probably the same thing that everybody's noticed that's been here for a while. You know, we did a lot of Supras. That was our specialty. It's what Nero's really known for, building you know, some of the world's fastest street Supras and some of the first world's fastest drag Supras. Um, there's only so many of them left. And, you know, obviously we had to add other vehicles to, 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 to fill in the gaps. And, you know, what's really hot right now is the Nissan GTR, the Lamborghini Gallardo. And I really see that as the future um, building the turbo kits for those type of vehicles and you know other exotic cars. Uh, we've had just lately, you know, we've done some really cool things on uh, Ferrari 599s. We have several clients that have those vehicles. We've done custom exhaust systems, um, things like that. We just had a new McLaren 650S, which is a pretty neat car. So our clients are growing too, and you know our clients really have followed us since the beginning. And as they've gotten older and and you know, been in situations where they have more disposable income to buy better and better and better cars. The super guys now own Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, and those type of vehicles. So they don't want to take their car anywhere else. So of course we've adapted and we've, you know, kind of accustomed ourselves to doing those type of vehicles on a daily basis. So they feel comfortable with us. They know that we, we uh, were able to do the research to find out what the newest, hottest items are for those vehicles and, and how to get those cars to their fullest potential.